It's essentially a concrete frame with, um, but it's all integral with uh, the brick wall, which is really just nine inches of brick solid. There's no cavity. And in terms of energy efficiency on that building, if we wanted to have been super efficient, we should have lined the building, but that would have lost the character of the brickwork. You can see these lines in the brickwork. This is what's called a wire cut. And it's the, a bit like you see a cheese with the wire. In a way, it's a similar way of doing things, and lumps and things get stuck to the wire, and it just pulls it. Is it a cheaper brick? I mean, why it's would they a, do it that way? It's a slightly cheaper brick, yeah. Okay. I mean, it looks good. Oh, you know, yes, it's got a wonderful texture to it. As I said, it's a load-bearing or a brick wall system. We, uh, that's all exposed. The interior was all sandblasted, so it's back to the brick, the concrete, the steel. A lot of that is left exposed. One of the uh, concepts for the building is that it's a teaching building as well. So all the, the systems... The guts of the building. Uh, Plumbing, electrical. Control. Yeah, a lot of it is visible there. So as the students are designing or learning about these things, it's something you can say, well, look at this, look at this, go into there, and you know, see how it, uh, what it is, you know, how much space do you need for uh, air conditioning duct work. You know, you'll see there are ducts which are this size. And things, so uh, it, it makes a big impact on the students in that regard. About the two wings? The, the two wings, the, the accommodation that was needed was more studio space, which is the, the heart of the education for architecture students. Uh, they, they do design projects in the studios. And so the, the two wings are two floors. The upper floors, in each case, are new studios. And then the lower floors. On one side is the library and on the and the lecture theatre and on the other side is the faculty offices. On the whole it's a everybody's very impressed with it. It's it's different. Again, it's a very modern building within this uh, older shell. And there are even some elements on the exterior which are very modern. So there's a, some people in the context of OSU have wondered about that, but on the whole, I think uh, uh, they feel that uh, most people feel the building was a big success in that it did bring modern architecture here, but in a way that is not an eyesore building. It doesn't, doesn't jump out at you. 